Hotel Roach Motel. I was leaving the Roach Motel. Yes, I was leaving. I was leaving. And uh, this hotel it costs two hundred and ten dollars to stay here. And uh, ironically, I'm staying in room two ten. Well, it actually costs two hundred and fifty dollars with tax. But uh, I was leaving. I got a few things left on the bed. Those are my bags, and I tie them up because those are my sleeping bags and sheets. I bring my own stuff. As you can see, the bed has it. I slept in that bed over there, and it has not been touched. And the reason why it has not been touched is because I bring my own sheets. The bag on the floor, that's my big sleeping bag. The bag, uh, where's my laptop? The bag right here. That's my sheets and everything. I got my laptop. I've been working, getting a lot of work done. You work, you can do a lot of things. I had to come to the Roach Motel, Hotel Roach Motel. Uh, this was $210. Uh, with tax, it came to $250. But that's for a week, seven days. I was paying $70, $80 a night. Yeah, I'm not trying to go through my van money. <laughs> not trying to go through my van money, my money saved. It'll eat you up quick, though, spending money at these hotels. Hey, Dre Riders. It's Frankie living out of my minivan, v B. So here is my desk. I moved to another hotel. This hotel is a, I think it's a lot nicer because it's cleaner, um, but it's not really a upscale hotel, but it's definitely nice. So I'm doing some work. Look at this. I bought this little book, but I just write notes in here. I do love avocados. <laughs> when I seen this book, I had to get it. I've been working all day on my laptop. I bought this and also this. I'm going to try to hold, put my phone on these things so that I can be on camera. And I bought this one as well. Um, there's my microphone. I'm always reading and writing stuff. Um... There are my books. I'm going to give y'all a quick look at my bread. Carbs, carbs, carbs. Um, It's kind of junky. Um, See the bed? I put my own sheet. I do my own linen on beds. Even though, you know, I feel comfortable. I spray beds and everything down with alcohol anyway. But I put all the pillows over here. And you see, so it's okay. I mean, I like it a lot better. I really do. Just... It's much the reception that it's much much cleaner uh, but it's a great way to do my work so it's day 11 of Veda and I'm in this room because that shelter in place is serious here in Ohio it's serious across the country um, sending good energy to the people in New York. I was in New York last March, so I'm definitely sending good energy. Sending good energy to everyone across the country. Um, this is serious. Um, when you live in a van or live out of a van and, you know, you have to shelter in. And for me, my, I'm going to give y'all, let y'all see some different stuff. My journey, my van life journey, I always said from day one that I was going to get Airbnbs, even though I kind of been mad at Airbnb and also a hotel room every now and again, because sometimes you just got to get out of the van. And this is a perfect time. I had that major, you know, surgery in January. And then I had to have a, some other little tests, had a little complication. And so I don't need to be out in this, you know, all this stuff just going on. So for me, getting a hotel room was a no brainer. I get a lot of work done. If you work, you earn, right? So I needed to be here in the room and I am working my butt off. Sometimes I get so caught up in work. I work from sun up to sundown, but it's all good. Um, I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to make a, another video. Okay. So tomorrow's Easter, mm. tomorrow's Easter and, uh, I'm going to be working, uh, this room, you see my beds because when the housekeeper comes, I just give her my towels or the towel I use and give her my garbage or whatever. But tomorrow I want it vacuumed because you got to vacuum in here. But anyway, I, today, tomorrow's Easter. So happy Easter. I don't get caught up in all of that. I just say happy Easter and um, enjoy you all's day. Whatever that means. Stay safe. 
stay coronavirus COVID free, do what you need to do. And I'll talk soon. I can't wait to get out of here and get on the road. Oh, I can't wait to get on the road. I can't wait to get on the road, y'all. But it's all in due time. So anyway, take the joy route. Tell me what you're all doing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all know some of my buddies out there. I'm going to holler at y'all on y'all YouTube channels and stop by and say hello. Well, anyway, take the joy route. Bye.